Parents of Reddit, what is something you never want your children to know about you? Pretty much anything I did between the ages of 16 and 22. That I met her father on a BDSM dating site and that we normally don't have sex without some sort of roughness or kink. Or about our drawer of fun. That I don't like being a parent. I love my kids. But I miss being able to be selfish once in a while without feeling like an enormous piece of it. That V8 isn't colloquially known as Superman juice and that it doesn't actually make you immediately grow and run faster. I demonstrate the effects of it by standing behind the kitchen counter as they sit and watch me drink it myself. Then I slightly go on my tiptoes as their eyes widen and their jaws drop to the floor. Meanwhile I pretend to not notice if anything happened and ask them if I grew at all. Then with wide eyes they squeal that I did and furiously chug the V8. Then they ask me if they grew and I tell them their arms got just a little longer. Or their ears grew just a little. ETC. Then they sprint across the house to see if they feel faster. Good way of getting them to drink some liquid veggies and get some exercise. Edit. Thank you. That I spank their mom all the damn time. That I dropped out of high school and got my ged. I want her to graduate. Not one day say to me. Well you dropped out. Why can't I? That I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm literally just them. But a few decades on. At no point did I suddenly transform into an adult. I love naps. Candy. Rolling around on the couch mumbling to myself. Being warm and cozy. I'm still not keen on the dark. Don't like going to the dentist. Forget stuff all the time. Everything has been a conscious effort to act like some hypothetical adult figure or a massive effort not to think too hard about stuff like mortgage payments, responsibility, duties in case it overwhelms me and I find myself paralyzed by fear. Basically we are the same. I am you with a lot of life on my shoulders. You are me before it all happened. That in college I taped a dildo to my head and unicorn ducked a stripper on my birthday right alongside my best friend doing the same thing to another stripper. We're not actually in the bedroom discussing taxes for the third time. I peed in their mom's mouth once during oral. As a dad, I'm not really a huge fan of the idea that any aspect of my life should be a secret. I really didn't know a lot about my own dad before he died. He was in my life. Just a very private person. I learned more about his past in the week it took to clear out his apartment than I did in the 27 years I knew him. That I was boring as duck. I never did anything or have a secret six life that I'd want to hide. Guess that's something I wouldn't want the kids to know. Who wants to be known for being boring? About the things I do with their mother when we are naked. I was a heroin addict for many years and on methadone for several more before I got clean. My son was 8 when I was finally done with it. The amount of times their strong invincible daddy has cried without them seeing. My wife and I are good people, college graduates, decent jobs, take care of our family. Things got carried away one night with one my wife's friends and we had a threesome while my son was in his crib in our room. Not necessarily about me, but about my father. I never want them to know about him at all. Because I don't want them to know he was a pedophile who died in prison. That I was a stripper in my early 20s. Probably that I've had more than one threesome with their mother and godmother. Their now godmother was single at the time and we were much younger. Just something we used to do when the three of us got drunk together. In passing. My father told me that he decided to have a second kid, me, only as a backup option if something bad happens to the first kid. I died a little inside. All the partying and drugs I did in college. The random six. Skipping class. Going to Mexico with some guy I met two days before. Drinking all the time. Getting a DUI. Abusing our ex drugs. Going to psych wards, twice. And letting their dad duck me in the ass. I'll try to keep most of my past the past. It's me switching off the TV with the second remote and not TV running out of battery after 30 minutes of use. My 3 month old daughter had constipation so bad it was making her scream her head off in pain. I took my index finger and dug the rock hard balls of it out of her anus. Immediate relief and no more crying and pain. 
Big look of relief on her face as I wiped away massive tears with other hand. I felt bad and good simultaneously but as a dad. You'll do anything to help your kids. Afterwards. I spent 10 minutes washing hands like a doctor while she fell asleep in her crib. That I've watched approvingly as her mother gets plowed by another man. While I plow that man's wife in return. And that this was not a one time thing. I really really wanted a boy but after she was born I was happy to have a girl. I don't tell many people this but. I never wanted children. When I found out I was pregnant. I was absolutely devastated. I made an appointment to have an abortion. But never went through with it and throughout my pregnancy I don't think bonded with her. I almost tried to act as if it wasn't happening. And even when I gave birth. I was scared to death. It took a while for me to bond with her and when I finally did. She had a regression and a major personality change and was diagnosed with autism. I feel responsible because of my negative attitude during my pregnancy. Now. I love her more than life itself. Every day she gives me a reason to smile. And she has the such a beautiful soul. But my pregnancy is my most shameful time in my life. If when I have kids I probably won't want them to know I met their father on 4chan. We get away with telling our families we met on farmersonly.com but probably won't work on our kids since they'll probably know we aren't farmers. That I have no college degree and mommy does, yet I make 6 figures and mommy couldn't even find a job in her field. Also, we were both arrested for DUIs and were both on probation at the same time when we met. In fact, it's what we talked about, when we met at a bar, I tried to buy her a drink. She had a breathalyzer in her car and couldn't drink because of DUI. The rest, as they say, is history. That I worked on several seasons of keeping up with the Kardashians. That when my 4 years old son was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer and he'd sleep with his mom. I'd sleep in his bed crying all night thinking about how I was going to explain to him what death was. And how to to explain that he was going to die. Update. He didn't die, and I didn't have to explain it to him. He's 5 years cancer free now, but for months it really wasn't certain that he'd make it. It had spread through both of his lungs. He recently asked me how we felt when he was going through it. He hardly remembers it. He asked if we cried and were worried. During it all we kept a stiff upper lip and tried to be very positive whenever we were around him. So as to not worry him. Edit. Thank you for the kind words and for the gold. Still not sure what the gold does means. But thank you. That I had to duck mommy to have them. They have been made to believe that duck is a nasty word. I'm split from my son's mother. But I'd rather him not know about the times my friends and I DP'd his mom. Or did the Eiffel Tower. Or tag teamed those fat chicks. One time I snorted a line of coke off of my then boyfriend's D. And I can't believe I just posted this. That I met her mother on an online dating website. If she asks I'll do a mosby and go through my life story of love conquests. With any luck she won't last for 5 minutes. How much trouble I would have been in if social media existed when I was in school. That I am alive. I got a girl pregnant in Afghanistan. Nice girl. US Army. Met her somewhere we were doing security and we just smashed. She shipped back home and ended up telling everyone I died. She has a whole story about how we met, fell in love, and two days later I was dead. Something something heroic diving on a grenade to save her mom or something. So my little girl is growing up thinking her dad was some kind of knight and shining I'm a hero. Truth is I'm a ducking monster. I will never get to meet her. I don't want to destroy her by telling her her daddy is not a hero and more like a villain. That on top of the mommy's been lying to you speech I think would duck her up for life. That I didn't lock myself in the bathroom because I was sick back when we lived in the blue house in Felida. You were too young to know any better than to think other than daddy being silly and making funny noises at you through the bathroom door. In reality I had overdosed on heroin and if you hadn't told mommy when you did, the paramedics wouldn't have gotten to me in time. You saved my life Lizzie. When I stop and think about that. Guilt and shame mixed with gratitude overwhelm me and it brings me to tears. Edit. I no longer do heroin. Mommy and I were a one night stand. And that single night is all it took to conceive you as a result of us being ducked up and my pull out game being weak as duck. 
And sorry, booby, mommy and daddy never loved each other. We tried for a long time but it just never had the chance of working out. Colon we both love you. Though. Very much. P.S. Please stop pissing on me. I know you can't aim yet but seriously man that it smells like asparagus or something. We have no clue what we are doing. It's not like children are born with instruction manuals. A lot of the stuff in this thread makes me feel like these are things you don't want your kid to find out while they're still kids. But would be fine if they found out as adults. Mine. I hope she never finds out. I don't even like thinking about it now. I hope my daughter never finds out how much of an advocate I was for an abortion. Or how much of a terrible guy I was to her mother in general. I could never envision a future where I'd grow up and be an adult. Or that her mother would grow up and be an actual adult. And we could get along and be decent parents. We aren't together. But co-parenting has been effortless and I'm so grateful for my daughter's existence and how much it changed my life. How? When my three kids were small, was just a private in the army. My wife and I would eat $0.69 bean burritos for lunch dinner from Taco Bell so that we could afford the $25 bounce check fee on the $100 grocery check we couldn't cover. We would write the check knowing we didn't have the money in the bank. But kids gotta eat. Don't get me started on the payday loans we only ever got out of with our tax refund. Phew. Things are great nowadays. And they are all three happy as can be. But for a couple of years there, life was tough. Builds character. I guess equals. That I hate myself and every day I don't kill myself is a victory. I'm not a parent. But I have a story that's relevant. One of my friends is a swinger and she became very good friends with a married couple that she met while swinging. I've socialized with them a couple times when my friend had non-swinger parties. And they are the most normal seeming people ever. They are regular churchgoers and have raised two perfectly normal daughters. One of whom I met at one of those parties. Who never had any idea that their parents go to swing clubs on their date nights and jet off to swinger resorts for their vacations. One of their daughters even made the decision to remain a virgin until married. Which I find rather amusing when juxtaposed with her parents enjoyment of hookups with random people. My friend told me that the kids did find out recently but she didn't have any more details. I can't even imagine how weird that must have been. TL. DR. Swingers. That mama used to do foot fetish photoshoots for a company called Footopia that has since been bought up and destroyed into real porn footage data that mama was not a part of. But mama had a damn good body and pretty feet. That my son's dad is was. No clue where he's at. If he's even alive. Nothing. A it person. Or that my boy is a product of his father raping me and all the abuse he put me through. No child deserves that. I've no idea how I'm going to explain to him as he gets older as to why his father isn't around and chose not to see him. My boy is a bright, happy, enthusiastic boy. But my heart hurts for him. That I was molested as a child. That my parents. Those same grandparents that my kids love so much, betrayed me by not listening to me, by not believing my story, which resulted in prolonged abuse, my teenage years of petty crime, drugs, reckless behavior, that I have no idea who I am, this person I was before is gone, I am the picture perfect parent though, you'd have no idea if you saw me, I have created this persona and lifestyle, with family, career, activities, the whole nine yards. While I harbor the darkest thoughts. The contrast is borderline comical when I think of it. That I put out on the first date with their daddy. Who I met on MySpace. Mommy is apparently a hoe. To all parents of Reddit hide your porn really well. Really. Really well. There are some things I wish I didn't know. Neither dad or I graduated from HS but both have $100k year jobs. I smoke weed daily and hate peas. My life is so uneventful that I have nothing to really hide from my kids. There are things I won't bring up but nothing I would be embarrassed about if it was discovered. That there have been times during this 4 year journey of parenthood that I've sat and thought why the duck did we have kids. I love my kids but parenting is hard. Who knew? Before I was married and had my kids. I spent 6 years in the navy. 
four of those years on a ship with two deployments overseas. I would not want my kids to know what took place on those deployments. Nothing bad. But very much adult content that they don't need to hear their father being involved in. That I almost didn't wake up after surgery yesterday. That my grades are pretty mediocre. Most people think I am some all-wise Gandalf. I want my kids to work harder and slack less than I did. How positive my relationship with drugs have been. It'd be one thing if I were a stoner who found value in moderation. But I actually don't care for that at all. I drank far too much. Throughout high school and college. And somehow I never ended up in the hospital. Or jail. Or the morgue. Despite many times that I probably should have been sent to the hospital. I smoked crack for a number of months. And I never got in trouble. Legal. Financial. Or illegal. Or addicted. I still roll face and rave. And again I have had no problems. Just joy. It's not like I avoided these consequences because I was especially responsible. I just got lucky. And now here I am. Barely any worse for wear. With a master's degree and a job in my field that I love. I do not want my kids to be able to think. Hey. Look at that. I should go abuse stimulants and alcohol with reckless abandon. Cause it all worked out for him. How much I resent their mother for sleeping from 4am to midday every day because she's up all night playing second life. That mommy and daddy's friends are more than just friends. Nice try. 3 month old daughter snooping through my reddit history in the ethereal future. Also. Do your homework. Also. I love you. I've slept with 3 of my daughter's teachers so far. That I was precisely the type of man I'll be teaching her to avoid at all costs. The suave. Say anything play a duckhead. She probably will know at some point so I can really drive the message home. But I would rather she never does. I'm divorced. Ex-wife cheated on me and left. But happily remarried with two beautiful kids. I'm planning to never mention my divorce until someday. When one of my daughters is wrecked from some relationship crumbling. I can boost it out and use it as an example that there is life. And often a much better life. In my case. A much better life. Beyond the horizon of the itsville you find yourself in. My hope is that the shock of finding out that dad was married before coupled with how much happier I am in this relationship will help snap her out of whatever she's dealing with and give her hope. I ducking love sugar. I haven't had in over 10 years but I love it. That myself and their mother did anal in their bedroom. Had a few too many drinks that night. Ended up in the wrong room when they were at a sleepover. Daddy what's that stain? Omi and mommy had donuts and I dropped some glaze on the floor. Little do they know I glazed their mother like a donut. I'd probably prefer my daughter not know the intimate details of the sexual stuff my wife and I do. That I've smoked weed. I have terminal cancer and sometimes it's the only thing that helps. I was just as uncool before she was born. So this is kinda sad. But to us, the child we are raising, is kinda our child. We love him and wouldn't want anything to happen to him. However he's not actually our child. We don't know what happened to our child. But my wife and I were reading an article and were surprised to find that it was impossible for him to have blue eyes. My parents nor my wife's parents had blue eyes. Yet our child does have blue eyes. It genetically can't happen. So at some point last year we got a paternity test and maternity test sort of thing. We are not the parents. Sometimes I wonder what our child actually looks like. But I'm afraid that if we go through to find out, our son will be taken away and we will never see him again. That I'm not the man I would be without them. They're the strength that made me the person I am today. I used to be shy, hidden away. And just wanted nothing to do with the world. Now there's nothing that'll stop me from paving the way for her to live a better life. Without being judged. And free to live how she wants. I'm much stronger because of what I want to offer her. Something the world I was raised in didn't offer me. I'm sure this will get buried. I let my 5 year old think he can lift me up because I love how happy he gets. I stand on my tippy toes for the effect. That I didn't like math when I was in school. My parents told me they hated math and found it hard too. I think that gave me an excuse to sort of give up on it. The stupid thing is, 
I didn't even find math hard. I only disliked it because it was the only class I regularly got homework for. I think my parents unintentionally reinforced my negative attitude towards math to the point that in the end I really did find it a struggle. At least compared to my other classes. I want to try having a relentlessly positive attitude towards math with my kids and see if I can't have the opposite effect on them. The fact that while I place extremely high value on intellectual curiosity and learning, and despite the fact that my partner and I both have advanced degrees, I have very little confidence in mainstream education at the primary and secondary levels. I've lived in three countries with different systems, seen a variety of school types in each, and they all suck. How many people I've slept with, the drugs I've done, how often I'm drunk. I'll never tell them details about my Vegas trips, or pretty much any bro trip when I was single.